Hey guys, it's Joe from the TechSlugs coming at you with another method for remote access on money making androids. Today I am going to be talking about VMLite VNC Server. This is a method that you can uh, use to control your money making androids from anywhere. I already released a three part video series where I talked about controlling money making devices from anywhere. And in the Android one, I didn't mention VMLite VNC Server. I said MobaZen was my favorite. By the way, if you haven't watched those videos, I really recommend it. Remote access is such a great thing to be able to do with money making. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that's really vital so you can keep your routine going even while you're away from the house. It gives you complete control and freedom, flexibility. I'll uh, leave a link on screen. You can click on one of those videos to go watch. Uh, one of the three parts, computers, iOS, and Android devices. If you're on mobile, I'll leave all the links in the description to go watch those videos. But anyway, in the Android one, I said MobaZen was my favorite. Uh, however, MobaZen has two major downfalls that VM Lite VNC server delivers. And that this is why I'm not using MobaZen anymore. So the first downfall is if the device is not supported, even if you have root, if the device isn't supported, then you cannot reboot your device and have MobaZen start on reboot. Uh, my Moto Gs weren't supported, even though I have some of them that are rooted. Uh, it, it, it wouldn't restart on reboot even though it had root access and i couldn't believe they didn't add this feature because when you have root you can do anything uh but somehow my lg fuels even one that wasn't rooted was able to get MobaZen uh on reboot so that was not good uh the second reason that i hated MobaZen was because every time there was an update it would completely ruin your scheme of remote access. So when there's an update, you have to be on the latest version in order to access your money-making devices. Well, guess what? If you're out and about and MobaZen releases an update, uh, your, your MobaZen remote access method is useless because you have to go home and you have to update all your phones and then re-enable booster mode if that device wasn't supported and it's a complete mess. And that's really the reason, one of the bigger reasons of the two that, that I'm getting rid of MobaZen, not my favorite anymore, and I'm going with VM light VNC server because it delivers in both of these areas. If you're rooted, it'll start on reboot. Very good. I like to reboot my devices sometimes. It's part of my routine while I'm away. Um, and the second reason, of course, is you don't have to be on the latest version for things to work. So why didn't I mention VM light VNC server first in the uh, original control money making androids? Well, I immediately dismissed it because I saw it was $10 and VNC for iOS is free. So I'm like, I'm not paying any money in order to control my money making androids from anywhere. But then I splurged, got the, got the $10 program and I'm very impressed. So I'm going to go through the setup with you guys for both rooted and non-rooted devices. Yes, this will still work if you're not rooted, uh, but you do lose one of the pluses that I talked about just previously. So if you're rooted, this is the easier part of the process. All you have to do is download the app and open it on your money-making devices. Yes, it does cost money, but you don't have to pay $10 for every single money-making device you have. What you need to do is create maybe a separate account for all all of your money making androids and purchase it on that account and then sign into that account on every single money making android you, you have and download VM Lite VNC server um, on that account that you originally purchased it with um, and that will allow you to to uh, use VM Lite VNC server with a one time purchase on several phones. Once you download and open the app all you have to do is click start. There's going to be an IP address and then there's going to be an address that you can enter into your browser. I recommend using a VNC viewer and not your browser. Uh, so you'd enter that into the uh, VNC viewer that you have on your local network. I talked about port forwarding uh, in the control money making iOS devices tutorial and it's also in the web article. Uh, that I have. So I recommend you look at that if you want to know how to do an external connection to your money making androids through VM Lite VNC server. But enter that IP address into the uh, VNC viewer on a computer that's on the local network and then you can control your money making android from there. That is basically it for root. Other features in the settings that aren't real crucial is you can set a password. I don't even bother because I don't have to with VM Lite VNC server. Uh, you had to with VNC on iOS. They would not let you do unattended remote access without a password. You don't need that for VM Lite VNC server, so I'm not even going to bother. And then uh, th another thing that you can set is keep the screen on while you're connected. That's kind of convenience. I like that. Just in case something messes up, the screen doesn't shut off. Uh, and then you can also change the port uh, that's at the end of the uh, address. I wouldn't even uh, do it because you don't have to. There's no there's no need for that. Then there's the auto rotate feature, and 
this is useful uh, for some video apps, although it didn't work for a few of them that I had. And then start on boot. Very important, enable that if you can. Uh, if you don't have root, you can't. That's one of the downfalls for non-rooted devices. For rooted devices, I definitely recommend you go for that. For non-rooted devices, you download the app, same method as before. Make sure you have that account on all your money-making devices. And then uh, go and download the client for PC or Mac, depending on what you have. Enable USB debugging and the developer options on your Android. Uh, in order to get developer options, if you don't have it, you have to tap the build number a few times and then go back. And then the developer options are going to be right there above about phone. And uh, then you can go in and enable USB debugging on that. After that, can connect your Android to your PC or Mac, whichever one you're using. Uh, make sure you have the drivers. Uh, Motorola has drivers for their Motorola Moto Gs that I had to download or this would not work. And uh, after you do that, then open up the client and hit USB connect. And after you do that, uh, then it is going to Go through the process and say your device is connected successfully. It's going to show the name of the device right there and then hit start VM Lite VNC server. And then if you look at your Android screen, it's going to start it. If you try to start it from the actual Android screen, it's going to tell you that you need to go to your PC, but you got to start it from the PC and then it's going to go to the Android and you're going to have the same screen that we had for the rooted devices when you click start. So that is your address. Uh, you can enter that in the VNC viewer and use it a, the exact same way as you'd use a rooted device. You can disconnect the device from the PC or Mac and uh, just put it into the charger. The only problem is, like I said, that, that start on boot is not going to work with non-rooted devices. So that's one plus we don't get. However, we get the plus that every time the developer releases an update, it doesn't completely wipe out our method of remote access. That was a terrible thing for MobaZen. Alright guys, so that is VMLite VNC server. I highly recommend you use this remote access method for your money making Androids. I'm sorry it costs money, uh, but hey, $10 isn't, isn't hard to come by on our money making apps, so you know, pay to download app. I know feature points, I think, as Google Play cards. You just get one of those for 10 bucks, and you'll have a cent left on it after you buy it. Uh, that it's, it's not bad. Uh, very good thing to invest in. I'd also recommend you guys set up reservations on your router so that way that IP for the Android device isn't taken. Uh, I also have more information on that in the web article below, controlling devices from anywhere. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, have fun making money with your smartphone. See you Friday for another video. With it. And actually, when you're signing up for your account, make sure you know your password right on the dot. Uh, because if you don't know your password, I found that the app would crash when you input it incorrectly. It doesn't give you like an error message. You might be like, oh my, it's crashing. The app is glitched. No, it just means you inputted your password wrong.